this one. This sleepover is far from normal. It's actually a pretty great adventure. Take a look. No, 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 no. Not doing it. Not doing the stairs of doom tonight. No, no. Whatever's down there is going to lead to my parents. Will it? Will it? Or is this the part where the four spunky kids go head first into the scary, dark, unknown, and she's getting the stool? Oh my God, don't do this. <laughs> I'm loving this. Joining us from the new movie, The Sleepover, please welcome Cree Chikino. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm fantastic. Your character, I, I just dig your character because it's like, uh-uh, <laughs> no, no, not happening. Good well, advice, though, that your character was giving, right? Don't go into the dark, creepy tunnel. Yeah. You should never go into that place, ever. No, you shouldn't. She's kind of like if a person in a horror movie became self-aware. Yeah, you just <laughs> need to. Let's not go in the basement, you know what I mean? Let's are you that person in real life? Yes, absolutely. I don't think that character was meant to be so that, but I, I think I just bled into it as we went on filming, and uh, it became a little bit more, you know, if you dropped Cree into uh, a scary library. <laughs> then, I'm so um, that person. I would do it. I would go yeah. down there. So well, let's talk about The Sleepover, right? It's a movie the entire family can watch. What's the premise here? Tell us about it. It is about a young girl named Clancy who discovers that her mom, seemingly normal stay-at-home mom, is actually an ex-thief um, who's been in witness protection for years and their entire life is built around this like witness protection identity that she has. And she gets kidnapped by her old partners to pull one last job. So her and her friends, one of them named Mim, played by myself, all go on this really wild uh, adventure throughout Boston to find the parents and get to the bottom of this mystery. Hmm. Ah. Oh, okay, so you play the spunky best friend, and dare we say the character seems to have a little New York spunk to her. Uh, how would you describe her? I would describe her as the person who will go on the roller coaster with you, but is screaming the entire time. She's incredibly loyal. She, she's going to back up Clancy no matter what, but she, in a very charming, likable way, uh, doesn't want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Uh, okay, so this movie looks fantastic, by the way, but I want to highlight the fact that you were born in Queens, mm -hmm. New York, right? So do you still have family in this area? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Born and raised. I, I was just there. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a New Yorker all the way. Okay, so favorite place in New York City to get a slice of pizza. Do you want to hear something funny? Oh, I was yes. born with really intense food allergies, as was my sister, and I've grown out of a lot of them. But we made a pact when we were younger that we wouldn't eat pizza without each other. And so I can eat pizza now, but she can't. So to oh. this day, I have no slice of pizza. What? You've held true to the pact? That is some I've held serious self-control. That's a good bond. You know, yeah. that's, that's, real, that's a good... I'm impressed. That's a good bond. Hey, Cree, okay. thank you for waking up with us this morning and talking about this movie. We're very excited to see it. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. We'll send over some pizza. No. no. <laughs> Just kidding. No. no, I wouldn't do that to you. All right. So The Sleepover is currently streaming on Netflix. She's great. I like her. I 